Now let's create a chain with history. To do this, first we will create the link and then the full chain. Let's go. Begin by making a deformable circle here. Let's say it will have a diameter of five. Turn on the control points and move a little bit closer the middle points to create kind of a noble shape. Good. Now let's bend it a little bit. Go to the Transform tab and search for the common band. Choose the center as the start of the spine and one side as the end and now bend it until we have it like this. Good. Now let's do a circle here with a diameter of 0.60 millimeter. Go to the Sub D tab and choose Sweep One Rail. Let me move the rail segments to 12 and leave the shape segments to 8. We will use these phases later. Great, we have our shape. But I want to modify a little bit. Let me choose two faces here and move them to the top, here. And now with Shift and Control, move it to the inside. Great, let me change the layer. And there we have our change link. Once we made our change link, it's time to do the chain. Let's create a circle here and move a little bit the control points as you want. Good. Now let's turn our shape like this and place it in the circle line. Select the link, turn on history, and once it's there, we will search in the transform tab for the array on curve common. Select the line, and then we will see your link all around. You can adjust the number you want in the chain or the distance to automatically place a number. We can move the link a little bit and see what happens. Everything moves like the main shape. Adjust it as you want it. We can also move the circle line of the change and the links will move with it. Good! Hope you enjoy!